Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are here in the studio for a special Somerville Neighborhood News Profile. And we are joined with Jen Atwood from East Somerville Main Streets. Thank Hello. you for being here, Jen. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, we have been a very big partner with East Somerville Main Streets for many years now. And it's great to um, welcome Jen as uh, the new leader over at East Somerville Main Streets, the executive director. And we're going to learn a little bit more about her, uh, the organization for some of you who might not know, and um, any of their signature programs and upcoming events and ways that you could potentially get involved. So welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. We are in the wonderful Union Square. A lot of noise has been happening around here lately because of, of the construction. Yep. But excitement, this development, things are going to be hopefully um, you know, done in three years. <laughs> That's just going to fly by. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me a little more about yourself uh, prior to coming on board with Eastern Royal Main Streets, which we'll, we'll talk about in just a little bit. But um, what is your background and what were you up to before? Sure. Um, my background is primarily actually in the arts. Mm -hmm. um, I have a master's degree from Carnegie Mellon University in arts management. And prior to this new role, I was at Mass Cultural Council and the mm. local cultural council program. Wonderful. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Mass Cultural Council, which has funded um, so many of our programs yeah. over the last <laughs> decade, probably more. Um, I've been here for six years. I can definitely say that um, they funded a lot of our youth programs and some of our um, documentary programs. So um, an incredible resource, which also funds the local arts co yeah. car cultural council here, the Central Arts Council. Um, who we work with very closely as well. Yeah. So, so that's great. So you bring that experience um, of being just in the cultural institutional field. Yeah, a lot of nonprofit experience. Um, I spent some time in Pittsburgh with various theater companies. I've worked mm -hmm. for theater companies in San Francisco. So, um, my background is primarily in the arts. But uh, from that experience, there's a lot of carryover in terms of nonprofit management mm -hmm. skills um, that will come into this new role. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, so, Eastern Royal Main Streets, we've been partnering with the organization for um, a, a long time, um, <clears throat> primarily with regards to documentation of some of the events, so sending out a production crew or setting up um, pop-up storytelling booths to collect um, wonderful stories shared by those in East Somerville and around Somerville in general. Um, and also a project called This Is East, which did a, a lot of documentation and preservation yeah. of the community there, which I know was also funded by the MCC. Mm -hmm. um, so we, you know, we love collaborating and have been to a lot of the different events. Um, so what is what is um, East Central Main Streets for those who don't know? Obviously, we are both familiar with it, yeah. but um, and there's a lot of new people in and out of Somerville who may or may not be aware. So if you want to give yeah. a, give a pitch, definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> East Somerville Main Streets primarily just serves East Somerville, and what we aim to do is create a, a destination um, and also highlight the unique cultural diversity of that area, that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's unique in Somerville. We're not a Union Square. We're not a Davis Square. We're not a square. Uh, we're really focusing on highlighting it as a business district and serving the local businesses there. That's great. Um, and what would you say, like, if there's a percentage wise of, um, like, just like culturally based um, businesses and stuff like that, like, who kind of makes up who embodies the East Somerville spirit? Yeah. Who's, who's over there? Yeah, so um, there's a very large El Salvadorian community there. There's a really large Brazilian community there. And we also have Haitian Creole. Um, so I think our main strength on the business district are our restaurants. And um, if you just walk down, up and down Broadway, you'll see several options in terms of El Salvadorian cuisine. Mm -hmm. um, Taco Loco just mm -hmm. got voted best tacos in the cities there. Pretty, um, pretty great. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, and they're actually just moving to a new location with a beautiful mural that was done by the Somerville oh, Arts yes. Council. Yep. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to check that out, I definitely recommend it. Um, Maya Sol is another El Salvadorian mm -hmm. cuisine. Um, in terms of Brazilian cuisine, we also have um, gauchos, which is really great kind of there. Oh my Brazilian God, the there. best burgers, honestly. Okay. Like <laughs> if you're uh, if you're in that kind of mood one night and yeah. you're feeling a little little scandalous and mm -hmm. a little bad. Mm. Okay, it's like you can get. It's like stuffed with so much. All I know goodness. is I love seeing them grill the meat out there, oh, and then so they good. just say, "Do you want you want more? Won't you want more?" It's mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So we also have um, a really fantastic Ethiopian restaurant, um, Pasika, mm -hmm. and we have a Pan-Asian cuisine, uh, Lotus Express. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of, lots of multicultural international restaurants on Broadway. Yeah, I can definitely confirm that I have um, dined and enjoyed um, to many of those places. And, and one other plug is also um, a, a staple in East Somerville. Um, to me and to probably many, there's just Casey's. Okay, yeah, Casey's. <laughs> I have to give a shout out because um, it's a it's a wonderful treat for mm -hmm. for people. I, whenever I have people visiting, I'm always like, let's oh, go yeah. to Casey's. I just like, do you want to go to like Cheers or do you want to go to like a real Cheers? Mm -hmm. Because it, I, I see it as more mm -hmm. of like the classic. Everybody name. knows, you know. Yeah, everyone knows your name there. You, you have to appreciate <laughs> I'm from upstate New York, so I love that small town mm -hmm. feel. Um, and it's really great to see just like, you know, it's like, it's like a big family in there. And everyone's very welcoming and I've had the most fascinating conversations <laughs> while there. Sometimes too late, but. Yeah. Um, Another New England staple we have there is Mount Vernon. Yes. Um, and so definitely it's there worth a mention as well. You can they're get twin them. lobsters. They're twin lobster special. If you haven't heard, if you haven't tried it, you have to do it. That sign like. never changes. It'll forever be their marketing because it's like, so strategy. Good. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. They still they still go by that. And it's, a, it's an award-winning strategy, mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah, there's, East Somerville is a very, very special, um, you know, kind of, a, a cultural uh, trademark to to Somerville. I know that the mayor, you know, loves and supports and tries to advocate as much as possible to get um, folks over there to enjoy. Um, so great. So that was a nice background about the organization and kind of what makes up East Somerville. Um, what are some of the signature events that, like, yeah. if people were like East Somerville Main Streets, what what do they do really? Yeah. You know, like, what would you describe to someone? I think like events are the first thing that people think because it's our public facing um, piece, but. The bulk of our work is actually technical assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, we do provide quite a bit of technical assistance to the local businesses in the district. And technical assistance can be anything from, we used to do storefront improvements with the city's old storefront improvement mm -hmm. um, program, but um, going forward, it's gonna be a lot more like business plan, marketing plan, um, improving online presence, um, some storefront improvement work as well, and design work. But there's, there's, a, it just, there's a, so much that we do and could do for the local businesses in the community. That's great. So it's a lot of like capacity building exactly. and kind of getting folks like you're already doing great work. Now let's make sure people are, are in the know of who right. you are and what and, you do. And also like meeting the challenges of today with the neighborhood changing, with the city right. changing, um, right. with the Green Line extension coming in and you know property values on the rise mm -hmm. and then of course rents are also on the rise. It's and the how, elephant in the room. You exactly. can't you can't not talk about it or address that this yeah, is and it's a, an, an issue of concern. Issue. Exactly. Right. It's a very important issue and it's going to be on everyone's minds and I just um, where our role there is to kind of help ease that transition and make sure our, our local businesses are here to stay. Yeah, that's great. And we have a, a wonderful Alder Human over there, Mr. M Matthew. So, yes. uh, you know, he's he's, he's a champion. He's a champion. <laughs> he's out there. Um, he's always, you know, sending people mm -hmm. over to East Somerville. Yeah. So. Um, but bringing it back to events, I can yeah. talk more about. Um, we have two big signature events each year. Uh, the one that just most recently passed is our foodie crawl, which usually happens in September. And that's a fantastic event where we, uh, each of the local res restaurants provides like a tasting sample. Mm -hmm. And um, so people come out and then they can walk up and down the street and get a taste of like all of the different offerings that are in East Somerville. It's so one of my favorite events. Yeah, yeah that and Taste of Somerville are like two great, because it's an opportunity to just, to, 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 be an adventurer. Yeah, and know. lots of people come out, so you can meet your neighbors, you yeah. can go. Um, we had two uh, beer gardens this year, so you could have Always helpful. Yeah, and then like, <laughs> go and taste the, some of the local restaurants if you haven't had a chance to do so yet. So. Cool, so Foodie Crawl, and then also one of my favorites. Yes, we have Carnival. Yeah. Carnival, which happens in early June, usually. Um, so much fun. Yeah, and it's really, uh, that event was really created to highlight our cultural diversity. Mm -hmm. um, it's a it's a celebration of who we are yeah. as a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of performances, there's a parade, we close down the street, we have um, a dunk tank, like there's just <laughs> lots of activity. Always happening. entertaining that one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we've set up over the last like few years now a storytelling booth there. So it's always, I mean, the weather is like primo because mm -hmm. it's like that beginning of the summer Before stages it gets too hot, yeah. right and just everyone's so happy and like you just see I think I feel like it's been growing each year mm -hmm. um, which is which is wonderful but just 
setting up our storytelling booth and listening to people share as to why they like particularly really enjoy coming to Carnival. And it's also, it's the food, it's the connections. It's mm -hmm. just like, you know, I'm not often here throughout the year, but you should be more right. so, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a really like our chance to kind of celebrate East Somerville and yeah. recognize that we're special and that, you know, it's a great place to live and work and play. Yeah, yeah, um, that's very true. And um, I'm trying to think about some of the, um, like other things that people should be aware of. Yeah, so we also do, in addition to our two large events, we have a scattering of smaller events throughout the year, including uh, in the summer we tend to do, late summer we tend to do movie nights mm -hmm. um, in the park. So we like to highlight Chucky e. Harris Park. It's yeah. a really well-designed little park that some people aren't just aware of. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's kind of tucked in the back yeah. there, but it's a fantastic little park. So we hold our movie nights there. And just most recently we've had a uh, Halloween block party. Um, we do that annually, but this year was special in that we brought some of the trick-or-treaters down to oh, the local cool. businesses. So nice. yeah, Louie's ice cream was giving out free orange oh, samples. Some of the best ice cream. Yes, yeah. yes. And Lotus Express was giving out candy and fortune cookies and Maya cool. School was giving out candy. So it was a really great way to kind of connect that event back into our local business community. We also partnered with Connection and they showed Coco. So it was just nice. a great way to wrap up that whole day. Yeah, 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 all very strategically planned. Yeah, yeah, it was a great little event. We had a great turnout um, and lots of families, and we have a lot of pictures on the Facebook page if you really like adorable kids and, and costumes. And you're probably looking at them right now because they're absolutely on the yeah, screen. Yeah, they're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. So if someone who is like a really uber eager person in the community who wants to get involved in like a volunteer capacity mm -hmm. or maybe you have board opportunities or any sort of like any sort of way for people to learn more and get involved, yeah, what would be your direction? We are definitely always looking for volunteers, especially in particular to help out with our events. Okay. If anyone's interested in that, they um, can also look on the website at eastsummervillemainstreets.org or contact me directly uh, at my email at director at eastsummervillemainstreets.org. All right. You got that down. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's a long email and address. No worries. It's all on the screen. So yeah. It's all, it's all there. It's, <laughs> it's all good. a reinforcement. Yeah. And we always, you know, we're also looking for donations to continue improving our support and our outreach to the community. So, you know, every little dollar helps us improve what we are providing back to the community. That's wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have you back on here, I'm sure, again very soon. Yep. Um, and, and on that note, uh, thank you all for, for listening and tuning in. And please get out to East Somerville. It is really um, one of my favorite gems here in our community. And uh, on that note, we will see you soon and take care.